Is it really asking too much that if I smile at a movie car, I want it to smile back at me? In 2015, Warner Brothers Studios finally agreed to sell us this absolutely amazing creation from the movie Son of the Mask. It's like a massive Hot Wheels car. For context, I'm 6'8", so the back end is about seven feet tall. It was designed by a friend of Volo Museum, Fireball Tim, who legally changed his name so his driver's license and passport says Fireball Tim. He got to start designing the Batmobile for the 1989's Batman while he was still a college student. Since then, he's provided cars for movies like Dukes of Hazzard, Starsky and Hutch, The Green Hornet, The Fast and the Furious, The Eleanors for Gone in 60 Seconds, The Shelby's Tony Stark Crushed in Iron Man, and the 69 Mercedes Convertible in The Hangover. The base is an Australian 2004 Holden, which is similar to a Pontiac GTO. It's powered by a Chevy LS1 engine, so yes, this car is smoking. The body has obvious modifications, including a gnarly blower with a vicious mouth for an air intake. It's loaded with special effects too, like real functioning flamethrowers from the hood pipes and the rear exhaust. 90% of movies skip the interior details altogether, but this interior was gorgeously glorified with gaudy gadgets and switches that would make even James Bond jealous. And seriously, every switch, lever, or screen has some sort of innuendo or joke attached to it. So cool. We recently had Jamie Kennedy himself come out and talk about his experience with this amazing car. Thank you for continuing to watch this series. I hope you're having as much fun watching it as I am having making it. Tune in tomorrow to see the next movie car. I recently bought my pet duck a replica of the mask. It's nothing flashy, but it fits the bill.